I, I think it's important that, that people know hip hop comes with suffering. Like, I'm from the country. I'm saying again, I'm from the country. Yeah, you know, I'm from the South. The accent one right, I'm B, I'm black. It was a whole lot working against me. They would not play Killer Mike, T.I., David Down Records five years ago in New York. And I'm saying that to say to the young homies out there, imagine yourself a boxer. When you step into a boxing gym, you could have beaten everybody on your block, ever. But the minute you step in that gym, some old wrinkled up guy's going to call you a bum. He's going to tell you you kick tomato cans and you hit like a little girl. That's what you're going to hear. Those are the first three things. If you go on a martial arts dojo, you're going to hear that your balance is off. You don't know how to strike. You're whack. If any listener, not rapper, not a guy who's trying to steal your style, if any listener of hip-hop for over 10 or 15 years critiques you, just listen. Just take it in. Because the real message of DOA, to me, was not about auto-tune. It was not about tight jeans. It was not about anything except hip-hop has gotten soft. Because we care more about what we look like than we care about what we're saying. When rappers get to the point, they say, if you diss me, you will never hear a reply for it. There is a problem in rap. Because rap was designed to address disrespect. Whether it was bad body, the super nation, fighting against social oppression, whether it was KRS one pushing the line on Queens, whether it was them pushing the line on Biggie, my good friend and mortal pushing the line on the government, it was never 